Welcome everyone to a trip down memory lane. Though some of these memories might be a little unsettling. We're diving into the top 20 most controversial Happy Meal toys ever. From creepy critters to unexpected collaborations, these toys sparked debates and raised eyebrows. Buckle up as we relive the nostalgia and uncover the stories behind these infamous toys. Whether you loved or hated them, they left their mark on Happy Meal history. Get ready for shocking reveals and surprising backstories. Let's get started. Kicking off our list are the smiling critters from Poppy Playtime. These toys, while seemingly innocent, sparked concern for their unsettling appearance. We thought the smiling critters would be cute, but we underestimated how creepy they could be for some kids. At number 19, we have the Five Nights at Freddy's characters, including these animatronic terrors in Happy Meals raised eyebrows due to the franchise's dark themes. We wanted to reach a broader audience, but the inclusion of FNAF characters stirred up controversy. The game's themes are not exactly kid-friendly. At number 18, we have the Attack on Titan toys. McDonald's Japan faced backlash for offering toys based on this violent anime. As a parent, I was really concerned. Attack on Titan is intense, and I didn't think it was appropriate for Happy Meals. Number 17 brings us Undertale characters. The game has a devoted following, but some parents objected to McDonald's offering toys based on its mature themes. Undertale, an indie RPG, has made waves, but its inclusion in Happy Meals was controversial. Landing at number 16 is the BTS meal. This collaboration with BTS drew both praise and criticism, with some viewing it as a marketing ploy. The BTS meal brought K-pop fever to McDonald's, but not everyone was thrilled. Trotting in at number 15 are the My Little Pony toys. These colorful ponies spark debates around gender norms and appropriateness for young children. My Little Pony is more than just a toy. It's a conversation starter about what's suitable for kids. Chapter 7. At number 14, Teeny Beanie Babies. Their limited time scarcity led to intense demand, resale markets, and frustrated parents. Chapter 8, Changeables. Transformers were recalled due to children swallowing small parts, raising safety concerns. Chapter 9, sparkling at number 12, is Hello Kitty Jewelry. Critics argue it promotes materialism and unrealistic beauty standards. Warping in at number 11, the Super Mario toys faced criticism for being too commercialized despite being well received. Fighting her way to number 10 are the Mulan toys, released amid controversies surrounding the live action film and the lead actress's views. At number 9 is Barbie. Her inclusion in Happy Meals sparked debate over promoting harmful body image ideals. Chapter 13, Star Wars Characters. The tie-in with Happy Meals was seen by some as excessive commercialization. Chapter 14, inking their way to number seven, the Splatoon squids were criticized for resembling certain anatomical features. Chapter 15, returning to haunt us are the Furby toys. These electronic creatures with their lifelike movements and sounds were seen as unsettling. Chapter 16, Pokemon cards. Gotta catch them all or not. These trading cards sparked debates around collectability and potential resale value. Chapter 17, Thai Beanie Babies. Beanie Mania strikes again, beaning us with nostalgia. The limited availability and high demand for these toys caused frustration. Chapter 18, Shrek, Ogres and Outrage. Ogre-sized controversy hits number three with Shrek characters. Despite the franchise's popularity, some parents expressed concerns about the ogre-themed toys. Sonic the Hedgehog, speeding into controversy. The McDonald's and Sonic partnership was seen by some as an attempt to capitalize on nostalgia. 
Chapter 20 Teen Titans Go, not your typical Titans. Landing the number one spot are the Teen Titans Go figures, criticized by fans of the original, more serious Teen Titans cartoon. Ultra, that's all, folks. What a wild ride through Happy Meal history, from beloved classics to controversial collectibles. Those little red boxes have seen it all. Whether you loved or loathed them, they impacted pop culture and childhood memories. Some brought joy, some sparked debate, and some left us scratching our heads. But one thing's for sure, these toys have given us plenty to talk about. Thanks for joining us on this trip down memory lane. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fun facts.